Receiving simulator transmission. Uploading transmitted feed. Initializing playback sequence. All right, Cypher, we're ready. Hey everyone, Cypher here, and welcome back to Cypher Plays Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. In the last episode, we made our way here to Atlas Plains, where we faced down the war crime inducing shaman himself, Novala, who had taken Renee Citizens hostage to try and get one over on Erica. However, we managed to overcome him and his spider trap. Now, we can move out toward Castle Renball, where Ephraim was last seen. However, before we do that, I want to quickly make a mention that before you go before you go to Renval, make sure that you stock up on any weapons, items that you need. Because once you go into this chapter, you will be forced into it, and then the next chapter immediately after it. <laughs> there will be no return to the map, so make sure you get whatever you need from any of the places you've visited, since you can go to the armory or shop in Seraphew. Anyway, with that taken care of, let's head on out. Rumors say that Ephraim has been defeated and taken prisoner. Now Erica must find a way to rescue her brother from, be from beneath enemy eyes. Erica's company rushes toward Castle Renval, where Ephraim is being held. Surrounded by lakes, Renval is a natural fortress, all but unassailable. A lone bridge held by the enemy is its only entrance. Erica has only one choice. Erica decides to confront Grotter's soldiers head on. Chapter 7 Waterside Renval. My brother is somewhere inside that castle. Renval is surrounded by lakes. The only entrance is the bridge to the main gate, and it's well guarded. Castle Renval is a natural stronghold, easy to defend and difficult to assault. We must plan our attack carefully. I agree. Princess Erica, please allow me to fight beside you. My elder brother Ford is in there with Prince Ephraim, Sir Kyle, and Sir Orson. Let me help you to set them free. There is nothing to discuss. We will fight. The hour of your reunion is not far off now. I am yours to command, your highness. We're with you all the way, right, dad? Don't worry yourself into a lather, Ross. <clears throat> In the heat of battle, a good warrior remains calm where lesser men do not. You need anything stolen? I'm your man. Of course, my blade's no joke either. I'm sure I can help if you'll let me. I'll keep myself safe. You can't possibly consider fighting without my genius at your side. I have yet to repay you for helping me fight those abominations. Please, let me stand by your side a while longer. This has trouble written all over it. That you, it's all a trap. Oh well, my luck's gotta turn around sometime, right? May the sacred rites surround us up and protect us all. Well, princess, let us prepare for battle. Brother... I'm on my way. Let's go. Yep, just like that, we're back into this screen, and I honestly think that I have pretty much everyone I want to bring, but first, let's check out the map. As we can see, we got a bunch of enemies all around, one path forward, and this guy right here, this archer, is going to immediately get into this, ball into this ballista he's standing on. Which will give him a 3 to 10 range, if I recall correctly, for 5 shots. going to be definitely a bit tricky, from what I can see. But we should be able to manage, I have an idea. I also want to point out this mage right here, this level 7 mage, has an energy ring. You could not get it from defeating him, you must steal it. So, if you want it, bring Colm. However... Gotta make sure his speed is good, and luckily his speed is well above this this guy, so he should be fine. 
So all that I need to do now is figure out how I want to arrange my units. Well, I definitely want Seth up front, along with Franz. We're gonna need Calm to go up front. We'll swap Natasha with Ross. And just because I foresee Joshua being a frontline fighter in this scenario. You know what? Actually, let's go back for just a sec. I'm actually going to swap out Vanessa and bring in Gilliam. I know that speed is kind of not his thing, but we need something that can someone that can take a decent hit, and thankfully, I think Gilliam can manage that. So we'll have him go ahead. And now that I think about it, we'll have... Natasha actually go up he up this way and have Yeah, I think that's pretty much a good setup. So let's start So as we get on into this, I'm gonna start things off by having Gillian lead the charge I don't imagine these soldiers being able to do much and while we make our way up I would like to start off by saying how oh, in the last chapter I didn't really go over it, but Novala was the first villain in this story that I legitimately hated. Like, sure there was Valter, who was rather creepy and a clear and present threat, uh, but and we also had Kalik, who was honestly kind of sexist and clearly only in it for well, Seems that he was only here to make, to earn fame and prestige. <clears throat> but Novala was the first character in this game that I really hated because he actively sought out to commit war crimes. We're under attack. Rouse yourselves. General Walter's adjutant, Lord Torado, has charged us with defending the castle. Show them the might of the of Murray's brigade. Don't let anyone near the castle. All right. Well, they're obviously going to fight like heck to make sure that we don't get anywhere near the castle. Not that it'll help them much. In any case, we've got our work cut out for us. So we're going to start this off by actually having Erica finish off this soldier. Need this critical hit, but fine. We'll have Gilliam lead the charge. And we'll have Franz finish you off with an iron sword so that you don't get weapon triangle disadvantage. Next, we'll put Seth on that forest right there. And let's see. Now, I probably should have brought Naomi to make use of this empty ballista over here, but I didn't really feel like doing so. So let's just see what we can do. Okay, boss missed. I was hoping for something better, but oh well. You can't make it up there. Well, I'll just put uh, Joshua right there. And Natasha, just so that she can eventually heal when ready. And we'll have Harder and Loot stayed close by. But yeah, Novala was the first villain I really despised in this game, and it's just for the callousness, just to get a higher position and rank. Which, from what the opening crawl said about Vigar before this all happened, it didn't seem like the sort of thing that he would have approved of. Yeah, but what do I know? Okay, we're actually gonna pull... Well, I'm gonna actually do that, so... Let's have Loot attack this mage.
We'll just have to move Ross. Not fully there, but close enough. And we'll have Ardor finish off this mage. And get a level up. Very good. Though, I do wish you would gain some magic. Get a pure water for our troubles, which can be useful later on. And we'll just have Tasha heal loot. And her staff what her staff rank went up, so that's good. That's uh okay, let's see. Let's have Brands do this. Let's see. Can't finish you off. But you, Colm? No, can't possibly. Okay, well, you can at least finish this guy off. And get a level up. Please get some more speed. Dang it. No. Okay, well. Better than nothing, I suppose. You know what, let's actually... Do we have any... No, we don't have a sword and supply. Okay, well. Eh, not good enough. Not good enough to justify, so let's... Just hope for a crit. No. Of course we don't get a crit. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this, but... I'm gonna have to, just to be... able to... survive this next turn or so. You don't want to waste experience on... Seth. But, oh well. Let's have Erica finish off this archer now. And her weapon level increased. Good. I'll trade back that Iron Lance. And we'll take that one use Volnari and use it. Let's see, can we have... No, nope, Colm won't be able to finish that guy off, so... Have Seth go there. If we can... Nope, figure that one hit, but got had to try at least a little. How far can you... Okay, that you can't reach. No. Oh. You know, we both can't reach. So we'll be at least a little bit safe. I don't have any faith in a 10% hitting any more than that 32%, but I had to try at least a little. And now that everyone's taken care of, we can actually... Well, at least up there, we can have the rest of our squad go in to try and support them as best they can. Let's just heal Ardor, since he got a little damage. Very good. Nope. Not mean to put you in range of that Ballista. Oh well. Let's jump. Well, actually, let's see. I do miss the... Uh, newer games having that little feature that you could actually continue to see where it was and move about the map, but oh well. I think for another day, I suppose. Decent level up, though I really wish you would gain some strength, Erica. Let's see. Home's out of range. Let's just have...
Uh, Gilliam use this last Volinary. Let's see if we can bait some of these guys to actually come. Uh, Joshua, at least a little back for right now, because I want to try and build his support with Natasha, since uh, it's actually a pretty good one, and I intend to make use of as many supports as I can. I'll try and show them on show c conversations on screen and grind them up off screen when I can. Okay. Just move loot forward one. Oh, and we can support now. Hmm. I wonder if... Oh, I see. What are you doing, Loot? Oh. I was just observing this... Kamita beetle? You haven't changed at all, have you, Loot? What do you mean? You spent most of your time sequestered in your room, studying your books. On the rare occasion you went outside, you were paralyzed with fascination. Of course, there are so many fascinating things to be learned from nature. There are a great many books out there, and I have read most of them, of course. But I found that it is written, what is written can differ greatly from how things truly are. Take this Kamita beetle for an example. I've been reading from the glossary of the Librian etymology lately. According to the glossary, their wings fall off once they reach maturity. However, I've just found an adult beetle whose wings still work perfectly. Exceptions do exist to the rules my books outline. This is, is a rare specimen. I wonder, should we take it back with us? Uh, I do hope this isn't another of your pranks. My pranks? Do you remember when I loaned you my copy of Lux Eterna? You replaced my bookmark with the tail of a said gold lizard. You scared ten years off my life, I swear it. Did I do that? And, knowing full well that I have a mild fear of spiders, you caught a small army of them and unleashed them in my room. I thought that if I immersed you with the thing you feared, maybe you might be able to overcome your fear entirely. And I went to a lot of trouble trying to catch those spiders. Why would you do that? Well, I did get a bit of a kick out of the experience myself. Why? Did it bother you? Yes! Oh, don't worry about it. At least you didn't hit it because you cared about me, right? I'll just accept it as the best gesture of kindness you can manage, Loot. Alright, well, that's quite the odd couple relationship, if I may say so. Not for us to judge, though. Anyway... Let's have Ross keep going forward. And hopefully we can just stall out those ballista shots with Gilliam here. Making it like a champ. How many does... I think only two left after that. So we'll just bring the rest of our army forward and hopefully be able to end things up. Well, move forward. Hopefully I can manage to secure that energy ring off that mate off of that mage. Sorry about that. Okay, just a little more. Let's go. Come on. Now, practically everyone's caught up. Oh shoot, I probably shouldn't have put him there because that mage will probably attack him. Oh, that was a misstep on my part. Okay, Gilliam's officially... At least I assume that Archer's out of ammunition at this point.
actually. Yeah, easy way to check. He can't... The range disappears as soon as... Uh, it's taken care of, so... Well, as soon as it's... it's as soon as it's used all of its ammunition, so we're good to go now. Ooh, good. Magic and speed. That's really good. So now we can actually use Seth to lure out those mercenaries and that mage and hopefully make a clear path to get to mage with Calm Steel, the energy ring. That's good. Now we just need to have Tasha use her heal staff on Gilliam. Take advantage of the positioning to have Joshua. Can't use the Iron Blade. Steel Sword won't hit. Wait, right, so let's bank on a critical hit. Thank you. Okay. We'll steal the energy ring. Which is highly valuable. Let's see what now. Use the javelin here. Gilliam. Another javelin with friends. Got a level up for friends. Not a good one though. Shame. Okay. Let's have loot go up this way. And use her fire. I have to move Seth out of the way so that Arger can actually attack. He hits. And now we can just, well, I guess move forward one because it's better than doing nothing. Hey, survive. Thank you. with calm here. But I don't imagine that fire will be able to land much of a hit on you. Seth go there to draw those soldiers out. Have Franz block off loot so that they can possibly go after her. Harder close by. And now we can sport with Natasha. Hey, I've been hearing good things about you lately. Everyone's real happy you've been helping to heal them. Really? That's nice to hear. I do what little I can, but I'm glad if I've been helpful. Oh, you have been, rest assured. You don't just mend flesh. Your smile eases all our pain. So I may have lost our bet. But everything seems to have turned out for the best, right? Joshua, I just do what I can to help and just stay out of everyone's way. I'm just saying, you've saved a lot of lives out there. You've got other healers, I know, but you're more than that. <clears throat> you're special. I may be the most cynical of our lot, but even I can see that. Joshua, you're far too kind. Don't be so humble. You deserve the praise. If, if, if you say so. Well, I do, so keep it up. I'll do what I can. Nice smile. Alright, well, that was pretty sweet. Humble yet sweet. Anyway, 
Yeah, I f figured that guy would attack. And guess just enough experience for a level up. Come on, some speed. Dang it. A soldier. And another soldier. Let's have... Okay, Erica can't finish off that soldier on her own, so let's... Dang it, too strong. Again, too strong. Okay, well... Please hit. Thank you. And now attack, Erica. Good. We'll defeat that fighter with Colm. And let's see. Let's just block off this mountain just in case. And have our magic users stand on the forest just in case. Was a bit bad, but nothing I can't deal with. And I forgot that I had a javelin equipped to Franz. Okay, well, actually, yeah, I can have uh, Ross go this way. Erica finish off that soldier. Get close to another level up. We can have Natasha heal Erica. Good. Lord him down. And we'll just quickly block in this guy by having our units surround him and make it so that he can't move. Did not need to do that. And just to get a little bit more experience on Natasha, we'll just have her heal, even if it is a minor wound. I am running low on money because I'm buying stuff off screen every now and then, but it's worth it. We'll just move Ross there, have Erica attack this guy. to have friends there, but oh well. And just gotta keep moving. And just to set up some more experience for Natasha, we'll go there. Not that I expected much. Okay, and we'll finish off the archer. Now come on, strength. Okay, now that's pretty bad on strength. I mean, her strength growth isn't that bad, but 
least from what I remember. I think it was like 40%, but geez, this is not voting well. Arbella stay have failed. How could this be? Grr, I guess it's up to me. Okay, that's good. Got a level on Gilliam. Not that I really intend to use him all that much, but better than nothing. Let's just try this. Okay, that was actually a pretty lucky hit. 23 is much lower than it actually is due to true hit. So maybe we can catch a break here. Okay, let's actually have him move out of the way. You know what, just for a little bit more experience on uh, Natasha. And... Okay, let's actually try again with another hand axe use. Didn't expect it to work. Let's use uh, Loot's Fire. Okay, good. Now, let's just use the Rapier to finish this guy off. Okay. Lord Tirado. And a level. Come on, strength. Okay, really not funny anymore, Erica. You need to start getting strength. Uh All right, well. I'm just going to heal up Erica one last time. I hope that she starts getting strength again because she really needs it. Anyway, let's see. Our brother is somewhere in this castle. Seth, we must go inside. Hold, Lady Erica. Look, in the shadows, a figure. Ah, an enemy soldier. Nope. Oh. Princess Erica, and is that you, Seth? Sir Orson. Why are you here? You should be with Prince Ephraim. Are you all right, Orson? If you're here, my brother must be as well, right? Yes. Prince Ephraim and I were both captured by Grotto forces and held here as prisoners. I just managed to escape my cell. A chance to escape. It's what I had prayed for. Orson, are you well? Your face is so pale. Grotto's men. Don't tell me they've... No, it's nothing. But Lord Ephraim, I cannot say whether he's still unharmed. What? Where is he? Where's my brother? If he lives still, he will be in one of the deeper cells where I was held. Head down this corridor to the dungeons quickly before reinforcements arrive. Thank you. Yeah, something about this doesn't add up. And I can tell from Seth's silence on it that he doesn't buy it either. Anyway, with that, we're going to end things off here. So I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay gold. Playback sequence terminated. Transmission disconnected.